How you doing? So I hope you can hear the Christmas music playing. Um, this is the second part of what I want to call a trilogy, but I'm quite sure there'll probably be a fourth. Uh, and talking about depression, bipolar, panic disorder, anxiety, and those things, and mission health, and what a great job they do. Uh, also, my doctors, I don't really want to go in depth with that. But I would like to say, you, you may see, you know, I'm a photographer. I created Bullman Film and Photography and also The Letter, North Carolina's Western North Carolina Independent Publication. So, but how that all began and came about is interesting that I was homeless for 16 months. Uh, total, eight consecutively, um, put together you could say 12, but it was 16 months. And that made it even rougher. And how I would survive was I would stay in local breweries and shops and things of that nature when it was cold, like right now. Uh, back then was the blizzard, most of you will remember. It was 14 below zero. Um, and I had an I had a old 86 Dodge pickup truck so and I would sleep in it but once I lost that if I didn't want or couldn't stay in a shelter or someone a friend's home or something like that so the the bars or the eateries or the things downtown you know as long as you're nice relatively and, and spending money if you have it if you can even if it's just uh, two or three bucks they would uh, let you stay there. So that's kind of what I did with the whole plasma issue, donating plasma, which hello to T and Brad and all them good folks there on Tunnel Road. Um, I debated that a long time as well. And then finally I was placed into one part of housing. So this is me turning a negative into a positive and also releasing all that past and moving forward. Um, how that comes with depression and bipolar and anxiety and all that. I was diagnosed in 2001, but now being treated. So uh, I know a lot of people are going through the same things. And there's outlets that you can where you can get out of you know the cold. Whereas Asheville Homeless Network was one of those where I was once a fundraiser coordinator. Uh, worked with several. Uh, eateries and groups, Tall Gary's, Firestorm, Adam Dalton Distillery, uh, the White Horse and Black Mountain. I don't want to leave no one out. Uh, Aaron Price, Aaron LaFrance, Gwen Waite, the Kimberly White Project, Bill, uh, Bob Hinkle, Linda Mitchell, um, all these places. And you could read about them. I would place them in my letter. And then it evolved into an investment letter of the big five, as I call them, paper, glass, steel, concrete, and fruit. Those are things that I think that are good investments. So with just because we, we live with disability doesn't mean that we cannot be positive and we can't make a positive impact on our community. Um, and I volunteered with uh, 2014 Democratic Party, Brian Turner and Senator Terry Devine. I uh, <clears throat> also interviewed uh, the county commissioner, Holly Jones. You can look all these up, James Bullman on YouTube. Uh, the former NAAC president, HW. So know that just find you an outlet. I know it's hard to hold on to a telephone. I know it's hard to hold on to something like my vehicle and, and clothes and all these things while being homeless. But know that they are great resources, great outlets, and eventually you will get through. So um, James Harold Bullman, creator and publisher of Western North Carolina's independent publication, The Letter, and Bullman Film and Photography. Hope you have a great day. Contact me anytime on Facebook.
Okay, my, my number is there. Open door. 211, A Hope, Western North Carolina Rescue Mission, B Love, all those things. So have a blessed day. Have a, ho- ho- a happy holiday. And look for more of this to come. Peace.